where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Isaiah 41, 13 says, For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. This verse reminds me of that poem, Footprints in the Sand. Do you remember that one? The man who was dreaming looked over the footprints of his life, seeing times where God was with him. However, during the most trying times of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He mistakenly thought that God had left him to fend for himself during those times. However, God as a loving father smiled and corrected his child's understanding. During the worst times, God had carried him, protected him. God promises to hold on to us, not keep us safe from harm, but hold our hand and help us through it. There does seem to be one stipulation to this loving protection. He has to be the Lord our God. Of course, he is Lord no matter what, because he is sovereign and in control over all. But until we consciously allow him to be Lord, to be on the throne of our lives, we are not promised to be under his protection. But if he is Lord of our lives, he promises to hold our hand and help us through each trying time, gently protecting us. So we don't need to fear this world. We don't need to obsess over the what-ifs of our life. We just need to hold tight to his hand, to trust, to walk confidently, our hand in his. Keep in mind, God doesn't say he'll take us out of trying times or solve all of our problems for us or that bad things won't happen to us. But he says that when things do happen, we don't have to be afraid. We just need to cling to him and listen to that voice, however he chooses to say it. Fear not, I will help you. It might be through a friend, through a passage of scripture, or even through circumstances. But God knows, in hard times, we weak humans need reassurance that he's there, and he will give it to us. Another verse that comes to mind is Psalm 37, 23 and 24. The steps of a good man are established by the Lord, and he delights in his way. When he stumbles, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. When my daughter was a toddler, she had boundless energy, as toddlers do. As we entered the children's building at church on Wednesday nights, she would run ahead of me. When she got to a ramp, however, she would stop and wait for her hugely pregnant mother with a diaper bag and other paraphernalia to catch up with her. She just didn't feel confident enough to walk down the ramp alone. Without even looking, she'd reach up her chubby little hand to hold mine. As even a toddler knows, no matter how many items she's carrying, a mother always has an extra hand to open a door or to hold her child's hand. She and I would walk down the ramp together. Then off she'd go until she got to the next ramp. She instinctively knew that with her hand in mine, she was safe, confident, and perfectly happy. Our instinct should tell us the same thing. When we're holding on to God and he's holding on to us, we're safe and secure. So hold his hand and be confident that you do not need to fear. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.